What's going on guys, it's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update. And in this video, we're gonna go over what's going on with the $1,200 stimulus check, what's going on with the negotiations, and also how there's other stimulus money that various groups of different people are going to receive. But first, if you're not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below and also the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on videos when they go live. We have videos coming out at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day because there's so much information about the second stimulus check, the unemployment news, and everything that goes around with all of that. Also, if you can, smash the like button for me. It really helps out our channel. My wife and I do hours of research every single day so we can bring you all the stimulus news in a quick video. Over the weekend, the president signed four presidential executive orders to help out Americans, and this was really good news. The four executive orders that he passed was an extension of the federal unemployment supplement at a rate of $400 per week. The president recently stated that Americans should start receiving this money within a week or two, and that 25% of that money, about $100 per week per person, is supposed to come from states. But states that don't have that money, the federal government will pay for it if the states apply for help on that. Secondly is the payroll tax holiday that is going to be for the last quarter of this year, September 1st through December 31st, for Americans that earn less than $100,000. This will provide a 7.65% raise in your paycheck every single week. And the reason that is, is because Social Security and Medicare taxes will not be taken out of your paycheck anymore. The president said that that money will be funded for by the U.S. General Fund so that Social Security will not take a hit. A bonus in their pay every week. If you make about $45,000, that will equate to an additional $1,200 stimulus in your paychecks. So we have money for unemployed and we have money for people who are currently working at the moment. There's also an extended student loan relief through the end of the year where you won't have to pay your student loan payments and an eviction moratorium. The White House recently said that they're trying to redo the wording on the eviction moratorium to make it more bulletproof so that people can't get evicted during this pandemic. Apparently the wording in that memorandum or in that presidential executive order isn't strong enough and they're working to redo it to make it stronger. The president is also considering a capital gains cut and an income tax cut for lower and middle income families. The president is also considering reducing the corporate tax rate again. As you can see here, the corporate tax rate was lowered from 35% to 21% in 2017. While some related business deductions and credits were reduced or eliminated. The president is also considering reducing it even further, the corporate tax rate, down to 15%. This is in contrast to presidential nominee Joe Biden, who wants to raise the corporate tax rate from 21% to 28%. Now, the corporate tax rate mostly affects businesses and not even necessarily small businesses. For example, I'm a small business owner and it's an S corporation. Basically, the income flows back to me and I pay the corporate taxes. So corporate tax rates don't really affect a lot of small businesses. They affect a lot of larger businesses because corporate taxes on large companies aren't typically owned by an individual and it doesn't flow back to the individual's tax returns. Now the problem I see with lowering the corporate tax rate again is that's really a place where we could get income tax money, you know, these huge large corporations that make billions and trillions of dollars instead of having the people pay for it. I mean, tax dollars do have to come from somewhere. The against this argument would be, well, if you do raise corporate taxes, then some corporations might not hire as many people because they have to pay more taxes so the corporations don't have as much money. But again, the tax income has to come from somewhere. I personally think it's better to come from these companies that make billions of dollars than you know small and middle income family Americans. 
the problem is with this corporate tax rate being so low, you know, these corporations have the best of the best when it comes to accountants and they can figure out how to whittle down that 21% or that 15% down to zero through tax write-offs. So companies like Amazon who make $11 billion in profit end up paying zero dollars in federal taxes and zero dollars in federal taxes coming from Amazon, which is like the largest company in the world, that, that doesn't help Americans at all. So to circle back around, we're gonna see several different stimulus packages and we're probably gonna see a lot more before the elections because the elections is kind of like Christmas time for Americans. They're trying to pass all this stimulus and all this money and all these checks, more unemployment, more PPP loans for small businesses, payroll tax holidays for people that are working, and we're gonna see more checks coming too before the elections. It's basically gonna kind of be like Christmas for Americans as they're just throwing all this stuff at us before the elections to try to get us to vote for specific parties. It's, it, it's kind of crazy, but I guess it's a good thing for Americans. Now, the good news regarding the stimulus check to be sent out directly to Americans, because you know you guys have told me there's a lot of you guys that aren't unemployed, you're not getting the unemployment money, you're not working, so you're not getting the payroll tax deduction, or you're not going to get it when that takes place. You're on Social Security, your SSDI, you're retired, and you're waiting for the stimulus check. Well, the good news about that is they have restarted negotiations at least a little bit. Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who was one of the negotiators for the Republicans, got on a phone call within the last 24 hours and at least are talking again and starting to iron out some details. Now, the good and the bad news about this is Nancy Pelosi is known to be a very tough negotiator. Just a week or two ago, she thought she was holding all the cards. She was going to get a $1,200 stimulus check. She was going to get the full extension of the unemployment at $600 per week. And she wanted all these other things, a trillion dollars for states and cities. And she didn't get what she wanted. The Republicans basically said no deal. And the president swooped in and passed the four presidential executive orders, which obviously made him look very good. So the Democrats weren't looking very good. Since then, the Democrats have said that they're willing to come down $1 trillion, and the Republicans have also said that they're willing to put more money on the table. So it honestly sounds like they're closer than they think. They both already agreed that they want a $1,200 check for Americans. They both know that there's going to be an unemployment extension or a more permanent extension of somewhere between four dollars to $600 per week they're not that far off there. It's all these other issues that are keeping them from passing a more permanent order. But the good news is, is they are negotiating again. And when they do come to a deal, the Senate and the House are going to fly back to Washington. They have a 24-hour notice. They're going to pass this literally the next day, and the president's going to sign it the next morning. So as soon as they come to a deal, we're going to have the stimulus deal pass within like 48 hours. So it's going to be very big news when it happens. Just like the presidential executive orders, when he passed those four orders, it literally happened within 24 hours. It was so fast. So I honestly think they're a lot closer than a lot of naysayers think. They already agree on a lot of things. And if Nancy Pelosi can just basically say that she's willing to negotiate a little bit more, we'll have a deal very soon. And Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said that people are going to receive their money this time a lot faster within seven days, he said. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Click the bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications. We're going live at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day so I can bring you all this information as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to smash the like button for us. We really appreciate it. And this top video is my newest stimulus check video, and this bottom video is, is an award we won from YouTube. And this video teaches you how to start a business selling products on Amazon. I teach people how to do that, and I have students that have replaced their entire 9 to 5 income. So you can click on one of those videos next. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video.